Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Biz Borderline. Uh, today we're going to do uh, what I'm going to talk to you about a case that I came across uh, about a week ago. Um, in, it's regarding a six month old baby boy called Robert Eon, who was sadly abused and murdered by his father. So today I'll be covering that case and viewer discretion is advised on this one. I know not everybody can watch murders involving um, babies or young children. If this is not your thing, just switch off now. <laughs> Please excuse my attire today. I have just done a night shift last night, so um, I apologise if, if I'm looking a bit rough. Um, but I'm so dedicated, so let's just get on with this, shall we? All right, then. Mihai Kathleen Gooley, 28 years old. Mihai was uh, accused, charged um, for murdering his son Robert, who was only six months old time, six months old at the time. Um, he had Down syndrome and other physical health complications associated with that. The 18th of February 2021, Mihai violently shook his son Robert and threw him down onto the bed. He became unresponsive and unfortunately Robert died of his injuries three days later in hospital. Mihai and his wife Gabriella, I think Gabriella was a bit older, I think she was 35 years old um, and uh, Mihai was like 28 um, and they came over to the UK from Romania um, when, um, well 2019 it was, and they came with their two-year-old daughter who obviously can't be named. Baby Robert was born here in the UK. Due to baby Robert's health complications, he did have to stay in hospital for quite a while. Baby Robert stayed in hospital for the first few months of his life. In fact, it was two months. He was just discharged from hospital two months before he died. Probably understand or empathise with the amount of um, physical health complications that he did have. He was being fed for a tube, so he was being peg fed. Um, and there were some other complications associated with his Down syndrome as well. Now, Gabriella's family was very, very supportive. Um, and this is seen all throughout all the court transcripts as well, how supportive they were. Um, they described uh, Robert as a very happy, smiley baby. Bless him. Now, it was Mihai who done most of the uh, peg feeds and setting up the machine for it uh, through the night because Gabriella wasn't, either wasn't confident or didn't know how to do it. Um, I'm sure she would have been ashamed, but it was that was down to Mihai to actually set up Rob, Robert's peg feeds. He also worked two jobs as well, so he was working two jobs. He was up at night doing the peg feeds, and in the first few months of um, Robert's life, the couple spent just over four thousand pounds in in going back and forth to the hospital. And just before the murder, I think it was actually on the day of the murder, um, Mihai was sending an email to uh, the citizen's advice uh, to ask whether he could claim some of that money back. While Robert lay unresponsive um, and while Mihai was waiting for the paramedics, he sent a, another email to the citizen's advice bureau explaining that Robert had become unwell and almost died. Now there was a health visitor involved in the family um, who visited regularly and she had no concerns with how Robert was being cared for. There was no concerns raised with her, with her by the parents and she herself had no, had raised no concerns um, and she did visit quite regularly obviously because of the complications that baby Robert had. Now other than the couple coming from Romania uh, to the UK in 2019. There's not really that much of a background that I've managed to uh, find out for you. We do know that the couple moved to Widnes, which is an industrial town in the in the borough of um, Horton, which is in Cheshire. It's just on the outskirts of Liverpool. Now, some of the media reports and the research that I've looked at have said that Mihai had um, had a violent past. And he was reported to have been deported from the Czech Republic for domestic abuse against an ex-girlfriend. He was, he didn't attend court for it. Uh, he denies this, uh, but in his absence, he was convicted. 
when the couple were arrested and this case came to court, Gabriella did say that she also was um, a victim of domestic abuse from Mihai and that on one occasion when she, he'd come home from work and he, she hadn't got his dinner on the table, um, apparently he pushed her. So although this was discussed in court, the judge pretty much played it down. Neighbours also report of hearing the, the babies crying all the time and the, the pair shouting at each other. So it was quite a volatile household. Now, prior to the fatal assault taking place, there was evidence of other assaults um, carried out on little baby Robert. And this appears to have been, or from what we can see in the, the news reports, is that this was witnessed by Gabriella, but she did nothing. Uh, there was occasion when she witnessed Mihai throwing the baby, well, picking the baby out of the pram, quite roughly, and throwing, throwing him down on the bed. And even Gabriella says she went to pick up baby Robert and noticed that he was whinging to one side and she took him upstairs and she still did nothing. She was seen, well, she was noted to have called Mihai's brother to try to get him to like see whether he would talk to Mihai about stopping the abuse and his brother did speak to him but he had no effect on um, what Mihai did he was still a very angry man and he still continued to abuse Robert. Gabriella also witnessed Mihai grabbing baby Robert by the chest shaking him and slamming him down in his cot. I mean this is a baby this is a tiny baby just come out of hospital, only been home two months, you know, just starting out in life and you've got the father, your caregivers who are supposed to look after you, are doing this to you. Now Robert suffered bruising to his um, backside and also to his face. Gabriella did nothing. She had lots of opportunities, to be fair, to stop this abuse. I know she said she tried to speak to uh, Mihai's brother, but when that was unsuccessful, there were some other avenues that she could have done. She could have left with the baby. Um, she could have spoke to her family. Her family were quite loving and supportive. Um, she had a health visitor going in. She could have spoke to the health visitor. She could have put a stop. She could have done more. She could have done more. Instead, Gabriella was found to have Googled how to get rid of bruising or how to hide bruising. Uh, some of the Google searches she read was covering, um, covering bruising with toothpaste or rubbing onions on bruising. You've got to bear in mind this is a six month old baby. You've got bruising to his face and you're trying to rub an onion on him. Now, I'm not sure that's the right thing to do. Text your child, go and get help. Get him out of this situation and yourself. Now, it was on the 18th of February 2021 that Gabriella came home from work and just popped out to the shop with her younger daughter to buy her some sweets. And she left Robert in the care of Mihai just while she went to the shops. It's reported that she was gone no longer than five minutes. Now, on her return from the shops, she found baby Robert lying lifeless on the couch. Mihai said that he... They were sitting on, him and Robert were sitting on the couch watching TV when Robert all of a sudden became limp and went grey and had difficulty in breathing. Now, Mihai called a friend uh, to contact the emergency services because he didn't speak English very well. So it was an actual friend that called the paramedics on his behalf. Police were advised that Robert had become unresponsive at his home on the 18th of February at five past one in the afternoon. Now, Robert was taken to hospital and even while he laid there critically ill in hospital, Gabriella still tried to cover up for her husband. She even at one point bought in a toy. It's an unspecified toy, I don't know what it was. Could have been a Frisbee for all I know. And said it was the toy that Robert had hurt himself on this particular toy. Obviously, the medical professionals saw right through that, um, and so did the police. 
During the time while Robert was in hospital, Gabriella continued to lie. She lied to the police. She lied to the social workers involved. Um, she still denied that Robert had ever been abused and protected her husband. Now, it's very sad that despite all the help from medical professionals at the hospital who were looking after Robert, unfortunately, he died from his injuries on the 21st of February, 2021. Mihai and Gabriella were promptly arrested and charged with first degree murder. Now the post-mortem showed non-accidental head injuries um, and some rib fractures. Now it was also highlighted in the post-mortem that some of the, ridge, the some of the rib fractures were at least 14 days old. So we know this was not an isolated incident. Robert had suffered catastrophic injuries to his head, eyes and spine. The post-mortem said he had suffered a head injury either from shaking or an impact or both. Mihai, to this day, has not said what actually happened to baby Robbie. He's not, he's kept silent. So he's not offered up um, anything for anyone, the grieving family, to know what Robert's last moments on earth were because he's kept that to himself. Now, like I said, both Mihai and Gabriel were charged following the death of Robert. And Mihai received a life sentence and he must serve at least a minimum of 20 years. The court case lasted 14 days, by the way, it was a two week trial. So he got 20 years uh, life sentence. And Gabriella, who was on the lesser charge, um, got three years uh, less the time she'd already served in prison. So she'll be out in about 18 months. Do you think that's fair? I don't know. I don't think so. Charlotte Atherton, who was the prosecutor in the case, read out some moving um, moments and, and letters from the family. But I mean, they were very supportive um, and obviously very sad at the loss of this beautiful boy. Mrs Justice Yip said during the trial that Robert is described as a smiley and a good baby. Um, his life was, uh, he had his whole life ahead of him and no doubt he would have continued to bring joy to those around him. It's just a shame that he never got that chance. So if you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate a like and um, any comments, just leave them below in the boxes and I'll get to read them. Thank you for joining me today for this case. I shall see you again in a few days time with a new case. Don't forget, I also do videos on mental health as well, particularly borderline personality disorder. Um, if there's any particular topic you want me to cover in regards to mental health, I'll always uh, do that as well. So if you just let me know by using the comment box. Um, so please like and subscribe you've enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching. You take care now. Bye.